Welcome to our Touch Designer tutorial. So today we will introduce the use of this particular software called Touch Designer, which will give you a very powerful introduction to the use of the three-dimensional animation as well as the use of interactivity. The version we are going to use is the free one. You can download from the derivative software website as indicated in our website. And there are other versions where you can pay to have more functionality. And within this software and in the entry screen, you can, for example, first of all, disable this particular browser if you do not look for any other tools to work on. And on the bottom, you can see the time code and also the timeline. And to save CPU time, you can as well, for example, pause the time code from moving before you put in any other animated content right here. And this is the entry screen where you can put in your programming material or animation material. And what we are going to do is to put in some of the very simple function over there. So the operation is by introducing a number of boxes and we connect the boxes together with lines to make the connection and then we produce the graphics. So in order to create one of those boxes which contain some function, we press the tab key. So once you press the tab key, you create this particular dialog box. And you can also go to the bottom right corner, which you have the Expo Expert Ops. For this one, if you check and uncheck, you can see the difference. So usually we will check this one in order to have more function in the creation dialog. So within this creation dialog, we come with a number of selection. We're going to introduce one by ones and we'll make use of them in the later section. So first of all, the most important free part of this one is the top, chop and sop. So the top deal with the texture. So that is the two dimensional graphics or image. And the chop is the channel, CH stands for the channel operator. And channel is basically some form of numerical data we're going to deal with later. And SOP, so S stands for surface. So surface operator, they deal with the use of the three-dimensional objects as a model. And we handle the, the surface operation of those models. So those are the three essential parts we're going to use. So basically, we make use of those selection by selecting any one of them. And for the other three of them, they are more sophisticated. So the COMP is kind of com composite, which means there are someone who have already written some of the other operation and combine them together into one single object where you can use it for your own sake. And for the MAT is the material is basically you work with three dimensional graphics. So the surface of an object or the model, you need to specify some of the material properties which deal with the, the refraction and also the lighting properties. And the final one is DAT, which stands for data. So data is deal with the input and output of external data usually, which for example, come from your iPhone, come from your network, or come from other external devices. So in our first exercise, we usually deal with the top, the texture one. So that is the 2D image, and then we see how we can manipulate them. The first one we're going to use is the movie in. So my means of the movie in is deal with the input movie. So it is the name movie is a little bit misleading in the sense that it's not only deal with the digital movie, it's also deal with the 
image as well. So the image is a special kind of movie because it's contained only one single frame instead of multiple frames. Once you select the movie in, you will see this uh, window over here. We call the parameter or the properties window where you can, for example, select other image file or digital movie instead of this particular default one. So we're going to play around with this a little bit later. So in order to enable and disable the display of this property window, we make use of the P key on the keyboard. We disable and enable by pressing the key. And along this particular background, we call the canvas and where you can use the left mouse button to drag around your canvas. And you can use the middle button, which is usually is a wheel, to zoom out and zoom in to your objects. And for the right button, use, we usually we do the selection like this one. You can click and drag the right mode button to select some of those boxes. And when I do this zoom in and zoom out, you can see that, for example, if I zoom in to this one, and eventually it will go inside. And if this is a composite object, it will go inside the definition of that particular object. So if I zoom out, it will go out to something we call the project one, so which is the project for each of the 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 work. So when you need to go inside the project one, you can double click to go back inside. And in order to save your work, usually we will create a new project, and then you select a location in your hard disk. And then you pick up your folder name and then you type in your project name. Once created, it will actually create a folder with the name of your project. And inside your folder, you will have the name of your project like this one. And you can also see there's something called the lesson 001.1, and it will keep different generation of your project. For example, if you save it again, if you have generation number two, and then number three, and then number four, the, the one without the dot and the generation number is referring to the latest one. And there are other four folders we're going to take a look later where you can use it to maintain your graphical objects. So to complete a project, the next one is pretty simple. Once you have something for input, you create another thing for output, which is then our object in the TOP, the 2D image. And you make a connection between the two of them by clicking the outlet, the output over here, and then drag your mouse and connect it to the input of the second object. So this is the connection. Once you have the connection, you can, for example, save and replace the one, and this is will be the the final output of your project. And if you would like to see, for example, briefly the outlook of your project, you can click on this particular display thread, and it will give you roughly the idea of the presentation of your project. So this is the, the only image we have done over here. So you can disable the display thread. And this is roughly the initial operation of working on with a touch designer project. So we'll continue more with the next exercise.